Welcome back for another episode. Today we're taking some Aussie classics. We've got Australia's best beef. We've got some Vegemite and we've got some vegan cheese. And we're making the right thing for your barbecue this summer. <laughs> So today what we're making is a beef, cheese and Vegemite sausage. We're also going to turn that same mix into a burger. So for yourself at home, if you want to make yourself up a beef, Vegemite and cheese burger, this Australia Day, you're going to have that recipe. You can find it in the link below. So we have our already pre-made sausage mince. My recommendation if you're going to make this one at home, go to your local butcher and get yourself a good quality traditional beef sausage mix. This one's going straight into our mixer. It takes all the heavy work out of blending it all together. So once we've got our Australian beef sausage mince in there, we're gonna add in our vegan cheese. So this one is a, just a cheddar cheese and we're putting in about four kilos, which is gonna make it extra cheesy. How much Vegemite do you have on your toast? A thick layer. If it's not thick layer, it's, it's a waste of time. Nothing worse than a little skid mark of Vegemite on there. It's three quarters. One part bread, one part butter, one part Vegemite. It's the only way. Let's ask the rest of the team how they have their Vegemite. Don't listen to Joel. The best way is just a little bit on the bread, more butter, best way. If I have my Vegemite, a nice middle layer, not too thick, not too light, just right. So the only real way to have Vegemite is lots of it. And what we're doing in here, we're gonna put this whole bucket in with this sausage mix and the cheese. Look at that. The more, the merrier. So when I said thick, I mean, like that's, that's the right amount. That's delicious. We're gonna put it all into the bowl, give it a really good mix up, making sure that the Vegemite and the cheese is really evenly distributed all throughout the whole mix. So we're looking pretty, pretty even and pretty mixed. If we come down here, we have a better look. What we're looking for here, there's no chunks of Vegemite in there. It's, it's evenly distributed through and all that cheese is nice and blended. So we've got a nice even dispersing of cheese. I would say that's nice and done. It's nice and sticky as well, which means we're ready to make some burgers and ready to make some sausages. got it all mixed up. I'm gonna put it back into the chiller to cool down for a little bit. And then my main man, Josh, is gonna show you through on how to make them into actual sausages. So the sausage mince is cooled down nicely. We're ready to put it into our sausage filler. And Josh is gonna take you through on how to make the sausages. So again, wet hands. Big balls, straight in. We're gonna fill this one all the way up to the top. Okay, so what Josh has done is he's put it into the barrel, he's filled them out into a natural skin. So don't be too squeamish, but all our thick sausages are done in a natural skin, which is a pig's intestine. They are clean, 
uh, they have been salted, so he's filled them out. What that does is, is when it's cooked up, it just gives it a really nice pop and a really nice crunch. It's gonna keep all that flavor, all the juices from the cheese, um, all the Vegemite, all the beef. It's gonna keep everything in the skin, which is where you want all the flavor to be. You don't want anything really coming out the ends. So that's why we use the natural skin. And so over here, you can see it's almost like flat work, the way that he links all the sausages. Josh has been making sausages for six years. About six. Nearly six years. So he's an absolute pro at handling a sausage. So once the whole run, once the whole skin has been filled out and linked, we're gonna put these ones onto the sausage hook. We're gonna put them into the chiller. We can't cut them until they're nice and set. So like a sausage has got a bit of firmness to it. And that just ensures that nothing's gonna cook out the ends when we cut them, nothing's gonna come out the ends when we, when we cook them. So once they're all done, they go on the chiller and we wanna leave it in there for a minimum of 12 hours. I usually like to leave them in there for a 24, but a minimum of 12 just to make sure that they're nice and set. So while those ones are setting, before we get to cut them, we're gonna jump back into the kitchen. And we're gonna cook up those juicy, juicy burgers. I'm gonna take you through on how to make these into the burger. That's the recipe that's gonna be in the bottom. So what we have here is our blended uh, beef, Vegemite and cheese sausage mix. When you're dealing with burger mixes or sausage mixes, it's always important to have water on hand. Keep your hands a little bit damp, that's just gonna stop it from sticking. If you have a set of kitchen scales, use these ones. We can just weigh one out to be roughly a nice cup size hand, which will be about 150 grams. Roll it into a nice little bowl, and we're gonna put it into a crumb. So what the crumb that I'm using here today is a blend of panko crumb, a white panko crumb and a yellow panko crumb. That's just gonna cook up nice and coarse, cook up nice and crispy. And what it does, is it's gonna soak all that cheese up while it's melting and give you a really, really, really nice crispy, cheesy crunch on the outside of your burger. So these are our burgers, almost the finished product. So if you're at home, there's a high chance that you don't have one of these, which is a burger press. So what you can do is because that crumb, it's not gonna stick. Put it down onto the bench with the palm of your hand. Just give it a nice press until you get your desired thickness of your burger. Put it back into the crumb, and then that one's ready to go straight into the pan. So we have these ones sitting on a medium heat. We don't want them too hot because they are quite thick burgers, but you know, depending on your own, you cook them however you want to. I've got mine sitting on a nice medium heat, and that's gonna let the heat go through and cook them all the way through to the center. They're just about ready to flip. And if we have a look on this side, because of that crumb, we haven't lost any of the cheese. It's all soaked up back into the crumb, and it's going nice and crispy. All right, so our, our burgers are looking pretty much done. If we have a look in there, we've got just a little bit of oil in the pan, which is the stuff that I put in right at the start. We've got no cheese, which has come out. You can see here, we're just starting to ooze out the side. These ones are, these ones are done. So our burgers are done. We've got a golden little juicy pocket of the bigger cheese. I'm gonna cut into this one to show you exactly what we're working with. Let's dig in. So it's a really good idea to let these ones cool for a while, maybe a couple minutes before you eat them because that cheese is like lava. So let them cool for a minute. It'll go nice and, nice and thick. And then you'll be able to scoff right into them. Great. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. 
Oh my god, go off, go. Oh, yum, yeah, so veggie mighty. Cheesy. So that's the burgers. That's just an idea for yourself to do at home. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna take our sausages, we're gonna cook up a bunch, and we're gonna go get everyone's opinion, see if Gippsland likes a beef, Vegemite and cheese sausage. Okay, so we've cooked up our sausages. We're hitting the streets of Gippsland. We're gonna find out if people like Vegemite and cheese flavored sausages. Let's go. So, uh, name and occupation? Uh, Indie nurse. Nurse. So, uh, do you like Vegemite and cheese? Do you want to try a Vegemite and cheese sausage? Yep, okay. Thank you. Honest opinion, I can take it. Good. Good? Yep. One good. Sample of Vegemite and cheese sausage. Done. Someone who doesn't like Vegemite is pretty good. It's pretty good for someone yeah. who doesn't like Vegemite. Yeah. That's another thumbs up. All right, Vegemite and cheese sausage. I'm here with Lockie. Lockie, Lockie, dig in. Are you a fan of Vegemite? Mm. They're good. Not fucking bad. Wicked. Yeah, fucking wicked. Gibson loves Vegemite and cheese sausages. So we're here with Ron. With Ron. Ron, would you like to sample a Vegemite and cheese sausage? You like Vegemite? Love Vegemite. Love Vegemite. Yeah. So what's your thoughts? 9.5 out of 10. A 9.5 out of 10. Ron's a happy customer. All right, I'm here with... Raced. Here with... Raced. Raced? Raced, yep. Raced. Um, Vegemite and cheese sausage. Dig in. Yeah, we'll give it a go. You like Vegemite? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, not bad. Good? Out yeah. of 10? I'll give it a nine and a half. Nine and a half. That's a popular one today. There's always room for improvement. Room for improvement. That's pretty good. Awesome. Okay, so I'm here with Haley. Haley, do you like Vegemite? Love it. Do you like cheese? Yeah. Do you like sausages? Yeah. You're gonna love this. All right, go for it. Fuck, that's good. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah, sure. Shit, that's it's too good. late. <laughs> that Twice. is very good. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> That is actually really good. Okay, out of 10? That's a solid 9. Uh, that's 9. An... 9.875. 9 9.875. We're going up. Okay, so I'm here with... Regan. Regan, Vegemite and cheese fan? Yeah, I don't mind the Vegemite and cheese. All right, it's in a sausage. Give me, uh, give me your thoughts. We got a nod. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, out of 10? I give it an eight, solid. Solid eight. You heard it first. Gippsland loves a Vegemite and cheese flavored sausage. This one's gonna be ready for the week of Australia Day. Get around it. If you're not having this one, you're basically un-Australian. Mm -hmm.